Is it safe to buy Pokemon cards from Amazon? This question is something that I get asked a lot. And I've also heard horror stories of people get Pokemon cards from Amazon that turn out to be fake, resealed, or just damaged. And while Amazon isn't my go-to place to buy Pokemon products, I have had some success at it in the past. I also purchased a lot as well, so we're going to go through them in this video. So here we are on Amazon, and let's take a look at the products that are actually for sale. So it looks like we've got a lot of bundles here. So you pay £29.99 and you get what you get. This is a sponsored listing as well. Okay, you get 100 pieces, so 100 cards inside. And you get 70 GX, 25 EX and five trainer cards. The main thing to remember when you're on Amazon is that every seller or every listing is a different seller, like eBay in a sense. It's very easy to assume that because it's on Amazon, it's safe, you know, a big, huge company like Amazon surely wouldn't be selling fake Pokemon cards, but actually it's the stores themselves on Amazon that are selling them. So the first step would be to just judge whether you trust the actual bundle or not. Because usually if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Pokemon assorted cards, 50 pieces, and that's got 23,000 reviews. Oh my goodness, maybe Laura and I should be selling <laughs> bundles on Amazon. We've got an Urshifu V-Box right here. Again, 26,000 reviews. I'm thinking that's more of the, maybe they changed the product in the listings. So they've got one listing, but the product changes whenever they want to. I'm not sure. So what's this? 100 pieces shining battle trading card, 60V plus 40V max English version. I mean, just judging it is listing in these photos. It just doesn't look, you're likely to get burned on this product right here. So again, take all this with a grain of salt. I mean, what's this tin right here? I've never seen this tin. It looks so bright. <laughs> it, doesn't, it looks too good to be true. As you can see right here, I actually did buy a lot of Pokemon cards early this week on Amazon. So I'm going to unbox these in a second, but first, I'm going to show you the listings that I bought. So here's one thing that I bought, £16.99, and we get 25 EX and GX cards. I did buy the 50 pieces of assorted Pokemon cards. And yes, the tin I spoke about just moments ago, I did buy as well. Because listen, that might be a legit tin, but it looks so bright. I've never seen that before. 100 assorted Pokemon cards with foils and bonus promo for £10. So we're going to see the quality of those, see what that's like. A Calyrex V collection box. Pokemon cards, three booster packs at random for £13. In the picture, they're showing Breakthrough, Steam Siege, Breakpoint. I guarantee it won't be those packs. We've got an EV collector's test. Again, a legit product, but let's see how legit it actually is coming from Amazon. And then we have an Evolution tin from Flareon, Jolteon or Vaporeon. Also, a quick announcement besides this video, this Saturday 2pm UK time, so GMT I will be bringing back the Pokemon box breaks to YouTube and Twitch at the same time. And Randy, what are we breaking? What is the box that you're opening this weekend? And guys, as you can see behind me, it's going to be all five of these vintage boxes. We've got Jungle, Fossil, First Edition Team Rocket, First Edition Fossil and then First Edition Jungle at the same time. I have done a box break of these so far, around 35 packs on Twitch, but this time we're going big. Packs will be sold live during the stream and all of these packs will be available. So all 140 or however many are left. You buy the packs during the stream. I open them during the stream and we send them out straight away. So 2 p.m. guys, YouTube and Twitch this Saturday, 2 p.m. Be there or be a square. Don't know what that means, but I'll see you there. Rhymes. All right, here we go. First product. And it looks like we have the deck box right here. BBI Cleaning Limited. Okay. So I'm guessing this is the assorted pieces. Okay. Yeah. Right. These, these, these are fake. <laughs> these are fake, guys. So <laughs> if you, I mean, look at this. A Charizard, Mega Charizard EX. Look how fake that is, man. What? Look at that. Like I said, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. So the first experiment on buying Pokemon cards from Amazon has been an absolute fail. And honestly, guys, don't support stuff like this. Even if you're buying this for your kid or whatever, just don't, don't do it. It's bad for the community, it's bad for the hobby because people having cards like this around in the marketplace are just prying on those who aren't well educated. People who are new into the hobby, you know, trying to just get into it and getting burned with stuff like this. Don't buy those bundles, guys. <laughs> All right, so package number two, what do we have here? Oh, we have the lively tin. Okay, so I know what this is actually. Yeah, I know this tin, man. Wow, on the image, was it so bright? They shot the saturation up of that product so much. I mean, let's not speak too soon. I mean, it looks and feels legit. It passes the kind of, you know, Pokemon tin quality test. This is the usual tin that they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've opened many of these, I'm pretty sure. There we go. A legit code card. A legit card right here. A winner, guys. Lively moments. Let's go. Vivid Voltage, Battle Styles, Darkness of Blades, and Rebel Clash. Nice. Laura handles most of the Pokeran source and the products these days, so I'm sure we've probably sold these on the website. I don't even, <laughs> I'm not even up to speed with it. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Check out the Pokeran.net store and not Amazon. But in this case, it looks like Amazon passed the test. We've got Go Go, Coralis, Stone Energy, Trubbish, Tynamo, Clubopus, Woobat, <clears throat> Taylo. A reversal of Duot and A. Oh my goodness me. Not only is it legit, it's an absolute fire pull. Let's go. Full art opal right there. From man like Vivid Voltage, you know. Let's go. So this goes to show that you can have success on Amazon. It's not all doom and gloom like we saw in the first package. But again, it's a bit of common sense needed. A bit of research into the company selling the products into the listing, um, you know, just to build some of that social proof and just some of that, you know, research. Does it feel right? If it feels right, it looks right, and you've done your research, go for it. If it doesn't seem right, then there's probably a reason why. We've got Baltoy here, Bronzor, a Reversal of Morpeko, and then we have a Stone Journal, Metal Energy, Doug Trio, Simiseer, Heat Energy, it's getting hot in here, Simeon, Dino, Electric, 
Mr. Mime, Galarian, Rookie D, Reverse Hollow for it, and the final card being A. Galarian Stunfisk. <laughs> Rebel Clash is the final pack from this tin. Lightning Energy, Lombre, Holucha, Indeedy, Clefairy, Voltorb, Nosepass, Wingle, Phantom, a Reverse Hollow Shatot, and the final card is a Scizor. Okay. So overall, a pretty decent tin. First of all, it was legit, which is great news. And the pools were actually pretty decent too. And for those watching this video who are new to collecting Pokemon cards, just a quick look and a quick insight into how to spot if these are fake or legit. This has just so much foil. It's first of all smaller than a regular Pokemon card. The back, it's just, it's just a bad fake. It's a bad copy. I do recommend you always hunt down some legit cards, whether it be one simple pack. It doesn't matter the rarity, it doesn't matter the card. And just, just so you can compare and see what a real card looks like. Okay, next up, what's this? Oh, here we go. Pokemon assorted cards, 50 pieces. Now this is the one with like 23,000 reviews right so i've actually got high hopes for this one right here and i'm thinking this should be legit so far yeah these are these are definitely legit cards i mean they're not very good cards they're just literally commons and uncommons we've got uncommons here here we go a dialga hollow right here from celebrations nice so this is as legit as it comes it's nothing rare it's nothing fancy but it is just literally an assortment of 50 pokemon cards and yeah fair enough great product right here legit and it's exactly what it said on the listing so can't complain no complaints and honestly like i said before if you're looking for some cards for your kids just get those pulling the rare shiny and fancy cards in itself is the fun part, you know, when they're legit. It's about the journey in Pokemon, you know? All right, here we go. Here's the next parcel. Looks like we've got a few things here in one go. Okay, 50 random cards includes hollows and rares. Nice. We have three random Pokemon packs, one of which is Evolving Skies. That's a win. The Eevee Collector tin, which will open in a second. And we have a Flareon tin, which will open in a second as well. Love the flame and the design on this tin right here. Okay, so first up, let's have a look at the random packs we got. We got Evolving Skies. Chilling Rain, and the last one is Battle Stars, okay? So, nice one. Again, maybe more expensive than you would expect when you're buying three random packs, but it is three random packs, and you get what you pay for. So far, only one inauthentic listing, which was the first one, which was obviously fake. Even from the listing, you could tell it was not real because of the price and the cards that it promised. But here we go. We got Lickitung, Horsey, Mankey, Mawile, Fermantis, a Reverse Hollow Pawniard, and the final card being a Vivillion. Chilling Rain is the next pack. We've got a Darkness Energy here. We have behind that a Doctor. Someone get me a Doctor. Hatcherim. Grookey, Clobopus, Sneasel Washington, my guy, let's go. Weedle, Galarian Farfetch'd, Spiel, and the last card is a Inteleon Hollow. Nice one, so we actually got a little hit as well. Decent. In a final pack, Evolving Skies, some big, big potential in here. One of the best Sword and Shield sets. It just has so much value in it. We've got a Lightning Energy, Ursa Ring. Let's hope we can pull something from this one. Crystal Cave, Toy Catcher, Gossip Fleur, Feebas, Hippopotas, Lillipup, Nickit, a reversal of bravery in the final card. Ah, it is a dragon, but it's just a flapple regular rare. Next up, we got Card Cloud here. A, another assortment of 50 random cards. It includes hollows and rares. Packaging not great on this one. It's just in a little bag. We've got a grad on there. I'm guessing that's just to kind of break things up and to do some promo. Okay, Card Cloud. Cool, cool. Okay, and we've got an Ember hollow. Okay, nice. Reverse holo. We've got a rare Latios, Virizion. But yeah, pretty standard here. In this comparison here, I wouldn't say there's much difference between this and the bunch of commons we've got before in the assortment of 50 cards. Like, yeah, you've got an Ember holo and two reverse hollows, but like the rest is just the same as the other one, you know, in terms of rarity. And then we have one more package here, but before that, let's open the other tins we had before. So we've got the Flareon tin right here. Let's pop that open. Beautiful. And we have Evolving Skies again, Chilling Rain, Battle Styles, and Sword and Shield Base. Very nice. Sword and Shield Base is the first pack. We're gonna open it like this. We have have an Orbital Rare. Battle Styles up next. Oh, we got something here, guys. I saw the border of it. I saw the border. What is this? Cacton, Gerda, Energy Recycler, Licky Tongue, Yampa. Oh, is this what I thought it was? I thought I saw kind of what... I'm going to guess Empoleon Special Art, guys. I'm going to guess that. I kind of saw the border as I was juggling them across. We have... Oh, it's, a, it's not the Empoleon, but it's a Rapid Strike Urshifu V special art. Very, very nice. We've got a big nick in the corner up there. But that's okay, because the card is super, super sick. I'm gassed with that one. We've got a Chilling Rain pack here as well. Let's see if we can get another special art, man. Let's see. We've got Crabominable, Doctor, Ladian, Furfru, Venipede, Shfeel, Crabrawler, Gullet, a Reverse Hollow Zangoose, and a Thunderous. So a hollow. It's still a hollow. And Evolving Skies. Now, if there is, guys, if there is a special art, in this tin, which there already was. You'd want it, however, in Evolving Skies. So let's see if we can pull another one. We've got a Psychic Energy here, Digging Gloves, Palpitoad, right there, Crustle, Feebas, Hippopotas, Lillipup, Nickit, oh, Bergmite, Rufflet, and the final card is a 
Ah, oh, Tropius regular rare. But single strike, Oshifu V, very, very good. Special art, remember that, special art. As far as this tin goes, guys, although I do want to open this, I'm thinking this would be the perfect product today to give away. So this is something I bought off Amazon, but again, this is a legit box right here. And I know you guys are big Evolution fans. We've got Jolteon, Flareon, Vaporeon in this tin right here with Eevee as well. You get five packs, three foil cards featuring Vaporeon, Jolteon, and Flareon. All you got to do to enter, guys, is leave a comment down below saying whatever you want. Then also, if you can, Please leave me a like and subscribe to the channel as well. Laura will get in touch with you if you win. And here we go, the last package. Ooh, we got another little package here. And the collection box that we spoke about before. Ash Rider Calyrex V. Again, this looks legit so far. Very, very good. Very in line with all the other collection boxes that I've opened in the past. So you get the Jumbo promo card. You get the promo card. And we get two Chilean Rain Packs, Darkness of Blaze, and Rebel Clash. We'll open these in just a sec. But first, let's check out what's in this bubble mailer right here. So it looks like another bundle of Pokemon cards. We do get a promo. But that was just shoved in there. Bundle be Hollow promo, which is now bent. And it's actually creased as well. I see the crease there. That's, that's not ideal. And then another bundle right here. So let's check these out. Okay, we've got Celebrations cards right here. So again, it looks like just an assortment of cards. This time it's sorted by type, which is actually quite interesting. And then the second half right here is just more common and common cards. Okay, so fair enough. Again, there's nothing wrong with these bundles right here. At least they're legit. At least they're real. And again, they are what they say on the listing. I just wouldn't expect anything rare in these. You know, if you're just looking to pick up some cards, some random cards, then feel free, go for it. So in terms of the question, is buying Pokemon cards on Amazon safe? The answer is yes and no. I would lean towards buying the official products, okay? So the collection boxes, the tins, even though you can probably or definitely find them on other websites such as Pokerand, I would go towards the products that you know are legit. The Pokemon licensed products, the collection boxes, etc. Rather than the assortments, rather than the random packs, rather than the mystery packs, mystery boxes. Because when people are selling those, they're doing it for a reason, you know. It's going to benefit them in terms of catching people out, you know. So maybe once in a blue moon, you do get a really cool hollow in these assortments, but most likely it's going to be beneficial for the seller to sell them. And there's nothing wrong with that. We sell bulk cards as well on the Pokerand website, but they are what they say on the tin, you know, you get 50 cards, rare, common, uncommon, whatever it says on the list and you get, and you're not looking to get lucky in those. It's not like a pack, it's just an assortment of cards. If something looks dodgy, if something doesn't look legit, it's not legit, okay? Even though it's amazon.co.uk or amazon.com, it still is individual companies, individual sellers, selling. And while they do have to be approved to get on Amazon, it's not the hardest thing in the world to do. Personally, I would continue supporting your, first of all, local game stores. So brick and mortar stores that you can walk in and enter. Then I would say go to your independent websites, such as Pokerand. But again, you're not forced to buy anything from us. Then you can go to your supermarkets. Then you can go to the bigger Pokemon stores online. eBay is probably the best place for secondhand selling because it's a bit more transparent on there. You still get hurt on eBay, don't worry. And if you would like me to do a video on eBay as well, let me know. But I would say just do your due diligence, do your research. It definitely pays off when shopping on websites like Amazon. But we have four more packs to go through, guys. So let's open these. Let's start with Rebel Clash. I will go through these quite quick just so you guys can get on with your busy, busy day. We've got Darkness of Blaze right here. Toxicity Rare Reverse. And then we Wigglytuff as the rare. Then we have two Chilling Rain Packs. Come on, let's get something good. Oh, Dr. Full Art. Let's go. Another Full Art we have pulled, guys, in this video. You know what? Even though this has been like a more of a showcase around Amazon, is it, is it safe or not? Ironically, the pulls have probably been better than any other video I've put out recently. We're going to go four from the back and we're going to reveal the final card in three, two, one. Kecleon Rare. But yeah, overall, guys, some very cool cards in this video. Make sure you join the giveaway as well, guys, for the EV tin. Thanks for watching, as always. I'll see you guys in future videos. Take care. Peace.